now I would say, I, earlier I would have said my grade six teacher. Now I would say my, my guru, Reverend Sun Young Moon, though ultimately it's my partner, my husband, my spouse. Yet I would not have met this person who lived on the other side of the world if I had never come in contact with Reverend Sun Young Moon, who was introduced to me when I was 21 years old, after I had traveled around the world and started nursing at the Royal Melbourne Hospital in Melbourne and was walking along the street and somebody came and asked me, what's the meaning of life? So I never actually met this person, but I started studying the teachings, which were called divine principle. I would call them unification principles. And it initiated a change in my life where I gave up nursing, even though I had practically completed the first year, where I dedicate, decided that I absolutely believed in these teachings which were being taught and dedicated myself to building world peace by following these principles. The hardest thing for me was to convince other people about these principles because it's something that I believe that I know is true. Yet if you hadn't asked me this question, I wouldn't have mentioned anything about it. So it's something that I try to live by, that I try to do. And yet this person is somebody that means so much to me that I couldn't possibly do him justice in a one and a half minute talk. And I just wanted to point out that once I see the red flag, it means I've got 30 seconds before I would be disqualified in a contest. Sun Young Moon is the one person in my life that absolutely changed everything.